Hello there, Cookies with turn 10. This is my current turn as EA Relay in the new Mandar game. So let's see how we did. We got a good event, which is nice. We got one of our heroes, which is really nice. Although I think there's a chance they get horror marked, so they might end up dying before we can actually use some of their really cool paths, which is unfortunate. So maybe it would have been nice to get them later, or uh, Ted's house later. We did have a battle in Deep Sea, so let's go ahead and see how that went. There we go. Alright, lost a couple of guys, and we took down the Ichthids. Alright, so we've secured all of our lake except the throne, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're going to move on land into our safest land province. Marverni has moved in here. I've messaged Marverni about this. They have yet to reply. My guess is they're going to try and take this and be like, oh no, I totally missed your message. And I'm going to say, I don't care. And I might even uh, think about bumping them here to kill their temple. And we'll see what they have to say about that, and maybe they'll learn how to message us about setting a reasonable border. So, anyway, so that's kind of what we've been up to. Um, we're sending, we're sending all the land troops up here. We're sending the mind blasters back to the capital. We're sending a bunch of stuff up here. We're going to start gathering for the push onto this throne, which. It doesn't look too bad, so I think we can do it. Um, getting another slave mage, continuing research. We're now moving for Conjuration 3. And uh, we have yet to see our southern neighbor, so we'll have to see who that is. So, all in all, uh, things seem to be going reasonably well. We might have some tough borders starting out, but... There is a lot of very rich uh, raiding potential that we can do to whoever this is off the most. It's the luxury of being the water power, um, so we're going to see what happens. Especially if most of... I, I am going to try and fort this, but most of my forts are going to be underwater. I'm not going to try too hard to fort land stuff. This would be really nice. This is not useful to me. Because uh, I already have slave mages who can get nature randoms. So, not too worried about that. Uh, however, uh, Crystal Amazons adding air into the communions would be huge. So, LA Arco, or EA, EA Arco, is looking like a likely war target, even if they have a bunch of winged riders. Um, I think we're going to be doing some raids. <laughs> So we'll get, try and get a fort in here, maybe a fort here, and a fort here. Oh, I should have put it here, maybe, but it doesn't matter. We're eventually going to try to fort all of this, um, just so we can pump out little writing parties everywhere. So that's kind of the plan, and we want to get a lot of research going, too, because remember, our eventual goal is Alt-9, so we can do wish shenanigans before this nine person lobby falls apart and oh and here's the hero he's insane um very insane squid look even looks different than the other squid has some cool like touch of madness different things but notably it is an amphibian so if it gets onto land it can try to kickstart some blood hunting it can empower itself and it can forge uh, bloodstones. It can teleport, which I don't think you'd want to use this guy as a teleporting thug. Um, it can add blood to your communions, which is probably also not something I'd really worry about too hard. You're probably not going to be researching a lot of blood. So I think this guy's primarily a forger with these two paths. Um, can also do crystal gear, which is pretty nice. And you can potentially twice born this guy, so it can die at least once, which is also nice. And it's size 3, so it's only 15 death gems as opposed to 
these size 6 mine lords. Um, and you can also try and twice more in the Abadai, but it's really tricky because you have to put like a ring in this slot. Um, whereas, oh, I guess you'd have to do the same thing with this guy. Mm. Yeah, so either you'd have to rush what way up construction. Yeah, you would. To either do a ring or to do the... I think there's like a death book where you can level them up. But unlikely unlikely to twice spawn a lot of these guys, but it is nice to have the, the death path in your communions. Uh, if you ever get life after death, then that's another way to turn your... Abadai and this guy into undead chassis, which can be pretty nice. But yeah, I would say things are going pretty well. I fully expect these wind riders to cut me off here. And I fully expect me to try and raid this fairly soon. So we'll see about that. We'll see if Marverni talks to me or if I need to raid his temple. And remind him that talking to me is pre preferable. Even if you can push me into the water. So we'll have to see. And although may, I'm more willing to take a bad border with Marverni to have this fort than I am with Arco. So Arco's kind of demanding everything and then tried to ask for a nap. And I see no reason to have a nap if I'm getting nothing from the arrangement, because this is the official border. It's between thrones. So these are the three provinces, and I would have expected to at least get one of these. So just like down here, I would expect to get one of these, one of these. And I start out with a freebie with Helheim, and I already came to that arrangement, because... It would be trivial for Helheim to push me back into the water. So, pretty eager to keep them on the nice list. And maybe they'll go kill Fomoria for me. And then I don't have to worry about Fomoria. So, that's it for turn 10. And I'll see you in turn 11.